All right, yo, what's going on, boys? Hey, Shin Sensation back with another video. Today's episode, we're doing some more pit old school. Old school is not really... All right, I need to freaking move. Old school is not very commonly um, out, so this will be interesting. Um, Frozen River, old school meta, 100% is going to be this. It is 100% going to be the old school meta. Now, a lot of people always forget how good certain strats are in old school. Cause they, cause most of the meta strats and boosts only are boost reliant. Like it's very difficult to pull without boosts. Whereas when you have a tower like the tack or the boomer, which are the two most common towers in old school because of the turbo charge and the maelstrom, um, people don't really expect a strat such as mine. If that makes sense. I think I kind of worded that weirdly, but essentially He's probably going, actually, let's see. He's probably going Boat Boomer. And he probably expected me to go Boat Boomer. But really, this strat I'm using runs this. Yep, 100%. 100%. It's easy reads. All right, so I'm just going to send it here, and then we're going to save up for our um, cannon. But I enjoy old school a lot. A lot of people hate it. They're like, oh, all it is is freaking Cobra and Tac Mortar, stuff like that. But I honestly enjoy it quite a bit. So <laughs> here we are playing it. So I'm going to get my cannon down right here. Cannon isn't too commonly used in uh, old school. However, it is, uh, I guess if you have mortar as well, it's it's pretty commonly used, but this should work pretty well for us, I think. And we're going to be fairly aggressive here. For round four, if he goes with a lot of group balloons, all we need is a frag bombs on that cannon and that'll actually do quite a bit of work. So Mr. Landon, we'll see how you handle um, my aggression this game, but the plan is to basically play aggro probably 600 plus eco and then start adjusting round 18. It will depend on his third tower. I'm assuming it's boomer. We're in old school. You can't boost. Boat mortar will just get destroyed. You, it's just not viable on this map unless you're playing boost only. In boost only, it's one of the best strats, but people sleep on strats like heli ice on this map as well. Um, so we'll see. Honestly, Heli Ice is probably meta on this map boost only. TBH. Like, Boat Mortar is good, don't get me wrong, but you can only fit like five or six boats probably. All right, we're going to get three wired funds going into round six. Now we're going to aggro. He's farming and playing super passive. Um, he does have Mortar. Okay. I just don't think that's going to work, uh, to be honest. We'll see, though. He can try. I'm thinking we'll kill him round 13 or 15, but... I guess no one knows for certain. He is playing super passive, which is probably the play as a boat mortar player against Cobra. He's going to need all the money he can get to uh, counter my Cobra gameplay. So we'll see. I'm going to send him quite a bit of blacks. And this is a good like early game bomb spot, but mid game, I definitely want a better spot. And also shout out to my boy D's Nuts. I, he was the first one I saw use this strat on this map and it worked really well. You wouldn't think the sub would actually be good on this map, but it's surprisingly exceptionally good. So I'd actually rather, honestly, like this isn't a great spot, but it's better than our current spot. Big 0-0 cannon guy, I guess, this game. See, our eco is really strong. I'm going to start to get up a uh, cluster. I'm not too concerned about leaking down to like 80 lives or so. Um, we're going to be able to afford this cluster here any second now anyways. So a few leaks, worth it. Didn't want to sell any Cobras or anything. And we're going to go to 600 eco. Now the mortar spots he's using... Now, the mortar spot he is using is it's great against scent path, but it's terrible against AI. AI and guess what? Cobra adjusts and then it's all on the AI and then you're just screwed because the mortar spot sucks and you're not going to decamo things. And then you're just relying on destroyers and then that's just not going to be enough. He's going to get overwhelmed. He's going to need a really early artillery battery, which just isn't really that feasible. So we'll see. He's going to be sending us a rush. I'm actually going to place my sub down, put that on strong and this should actually work fairly well. Are we leaking? How are we leaking? How are we leaking, chat? Okay, I wanna go ahead and get up. Oh, I, don't, I was gonna spike that, but I can't. <laughs> okay, he's playing way too greedy. I hope you know you don't have boost to rely on, brother. Cause you got a big zebra rush coming, my guy. And you ain't defending that without boost. You have to get up a destroyer at the minimum. That won't even be enough, yeah, GG's. This isn't boost only, Landon. Landon, come on now, buddy. Come on now, buddy. St. Boost only, Landon. What you doing, my G? This guy's supposed to be a good player? <laughs> Sheesh. All right, GG's. Not really, but GG. <laughs> GG's terrible. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. 
and it's hard to like pull off um fun strats in uh, old school just because most like meme -ish strats need boost but something that we could do this guy's got a fake account i'm guessing something we could do is like bomb mortar chipper or something like that which is exactly what i'm gonna try so i'm gonna do bomb chipper mortar let's give this a shot toss my good luck um and he's skipping offside one of the best maps in the game for shapes all right sick bro we're gonna skip that and instead we get the snowy castle this i think we could pull it off on this map dude stop skipping these maps for yin yang it's impossible to get a good strike bro we can't really meme on this but we can try eco i guess should we try eco here i mean i don't know what the heck to do I'm skipping. I, I, come on, bro. I want a map where we can go bomb chipper. This actually, uh, it's not great, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Toss him a good luck. If he goes Cobra, we counter Cobra, so I'm not worried. I could have actually, I don't know. I like the mortar here. I like it. Good luck, bro. So what we're going to do, we're going to anti-stall with mortar right away, I think. And let's place you right here. He's probably gonna be ecoing with sub if I had to guess. Everyone just loves to do that. Let's see if I'm correct. Let's see if we're correct, boys. He has not placed a farm. Oh, just kidding. There it is. A little late though. He's not gonna get any bananas. GG's, bro. So now we just unanti stall, <laughs> aka stall, and we'll be vibing. So for round four, we're gonna get up a rapid reload and then a chipper. And that's it. He's starting with a boomer. What the heck is this man's doing? So this anti-stall we did is actually gonna prevent him from getting a bionic for a while. So he honestly might die round three. And I I am disappointed in the fact that this is the highest arena. All right, boys. <laughs> this is the highest arena for you, man. Man's leaked 111 lives, not even a minute into the game, bro. I'm gonna place down this chip dog. And we'll put you on strong for pinks. So, uh, like, now he's going to be fine, but he's just going to have no farms. So, sucks to suck, Mr. Whack Daddy Mac. You can see it. So, we're just going to be vibing here. We don't really need any defense for any rush whatsoever. And we're going to be extending the rounds quite long since I'm not popping all the AI until the very end. Um, is he going to be anti-stalling? Maybe a little bit. But you can see how long this round was taking. So this is fine. We'll be at about 400 eco round six, which is spectacular. He's finally getting a farm down, but he'll, he's not going to get a plantation until round six or seven, which is really weak. And he has 250 eco. So we definitely have a huge advantage. Um, I have no idea what his third tower is going to be, to be honest. It's not Buccaneer. You would have started with a Buccaneer. Uh, we also need a Bernie stuff if he sends anything our way. If he sends blacks or something, we need a Bernie stuff, but... Looks like my man's is doing the 250 eco strat. So we're just going to be chilling. He gets a plantation at the end of round six. So it's not going to go into effect till the very start of round seven. Wiz Boomer, what the heck? All right, that's kind of whack. See what I did there? All right, um, we're going to keep on ecoing. <laughs> I think I'll stop at, uh, I should probably get a Bernie, bro. We'll get up a Bernie. And I'm actually going to get the bigger blast, and that way we'll be fine against any, like, yellows. But if he sends all-out region yellows, we'd honestly <laughs> maybe die. Not trolling. This guy is not that big brain, though. There's no way. There's no way he's that big brain. So we'll, we should be fine, I hope. If not, we got a big storm coming. That's all I'm saying. So now for round 13, all we need is a signal flare. So we have camo protection. Two zero zero chippers on strong to shred the big boy layers, and then a cluster for cleanup. And that's it. So I can actually afford to go to about six fifty eco and still afford all the things I just mentioned. So right there, oh six fifty three, too much, bro. But we have basically no lives lost, which is great. So I'm gonna start to get my cluster daddy down right there. He has two bionics. What the heck? Okay, he has so much defense. Like his defense alone can defend to like round twenty two AI. For, against all AI, not against all rushes, but against all AI. So, yep, perfectly calculated our money here. Gonna have a cluster for round 13. I can honestly eco a little bit more. He's gonna be rushing us here. 
Um, maybe I go for three chippers, bro. I don't know. This guy just seems like a crazy full send little Fortnite kid all out round 13 L dancing on me after that. Um, so we're going to just get up another uh, chipper. This will defend everything. I'm confident in that. There's nothing he can send that will get by this. Nothing. So go ahead and all out me, bro. All I have to do is a little mortar micro if he sends the, the biggest, chunkiest rush of all time. But we're good. Now, I could actually kill him with a camo rush right now. Or I could do a lot of damage with just one set of cam grow leads. Probably force a turbo and him to sell his plantation. But I'm going to be nice here and just play defensive and try to get some sick, sick defends this game. So our eco is pretty dang good. And for round 15, all we need for ceramics, nice little... Okay, well, he's sending rainbows. He's literally sending grouped rainbows. This is the easiest defend of my life. Look at that. Look at this defense, bro. Look how goaded that is. We bought a no lives lost this. Uh, not quite, but we were close. Only like 50 leaks. Easy. And that was... He sold his farm to do that, did he not? Yeah, he did. All right. I mean, if he would have sent regions, it would have actually been a deep, good rush, I think. Better than I was expecting, but... Now we have four chippers. And he's sad. Well, now I'm just going to kill him because he has no money to ever rush me ever again. So we're just going to send this. Let's force a turbo. GG's. Got a turbo, bro. Turbo, 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 turbo. Sell a bionic and turbo. Stop sitting there watching the balloons. Oh, great. All right. My man's all right. Dude, like what's going through his mind there? Like he sees the balloons and then he knows they're going to go by. And he just watches. I'm like, all right. Fake account, by the way. There's no way that guy got top one. Just saying. Dupe accounts pissed me off. That's why I was, you know. What the heck? Found my clickbait. Boys, probably a hacker. Probably a hacker. We'll see, though. Probably a hacker. Um, If not, this will be interesting. Okay. Area 52. I honestly think DFA. I really do. I honestly think this is the move. Okay, he's going to skip. Swan Lake, baby. All right. This is a good one. Here we go. I'm definitely using the best strat here. 100%. And we're going to place you right here. And then we're going to get you right here. This way we should end the round at 24 seconds. Why is he surprised I'm going Cobra? It's got to be meta on old school, right? It's got to be. I'm confident I have the best strat here. If he is going boat mortar and he pulls that off without boosting, like props to you, bro. But I just find that unlikely. All right. I don't know the exact eco numbers for Cobra, if I'm going to be honest. I'm, I want to say 261. Uh, no, it's definitely like 260 or something. But he didn't send me anything, so we're fine. Put these both on strong. Yes. And he's going for the grip chate. I'm going to place down my buccaneer as well. And here comes a rush his way, our way. Um, okay, we're at 25%. We can unplug. We can unplug the microphone or charger, excuse me. Okay, I'll, let's see us. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna grape shot against that rush, my guy. Gotta send a bigger rush than that, my G. Okay. So we'll put you on close now. And can I get two of you before the round? Yes, I can. Or three wire funds right there. Nice. Oh, not calculated, boys. Not calculated. He saw that and he knows I cannot afford a grape shot. But worth it. Not really, but oh well, fuck it. Now my man's aggroing. Okay, we actually didn't leak nearly as much as I thought we would. That was way less leaks than I was anticipating, considering how late I got up a grape shot. So we're actually vibing. And he's only leaked 13 lives and counting. That's not bad at all. He's gonna get a round five plantation towards the end of this round, which is good for him, at least. But the thing with that is I'm gonna aggro around six and he's gonna leak hella. Now, we don't know his third tower. I don't think he'd have the audacity to go boat mortar in old school. So, he's going to need a grape shot ASAP or Rooney here. I don't know how he's going to handle this. Okay, he got the grape shot. Nice. So, we're getting a nice eco. I'm not even going to go for, like, too much eco because we want to start adjusting round 16. We want to start adjusting round 16. And that's just going to ideally just start draining his funds and we're just going to be absolutely vibing. So, I'm going to stop here because... Don't have boost for round eight yellows, boys. So we're going to have to get up a bionic. I could go for or boat spam, but that's less reliable than just getting up a bionic. So we'll do that. I'm fine having to sell a Cobra if we need to, but I'm assuming he has Boomer. There's no way he has anything other than Boomer. 
Now we could actually force, I'm fine selling. Yeah, he's gonna sell a farm. If we force farm sell and I have to sell Cobras to defend a counter, that's fine. Okay, he defended. Wow, well done, well done. Nicely played, brother. So we're gonna go to 500 eco. Here comes a rush from him. This will afford the Bionic, easy. He's swagging, okay, sick, bro. Sick, dead. We're just gonna go for this. 500 eco is a good number to be at. He's gonna have two plantations with like 260-ish, 200, no, probably like 280 eco, which is terrible. So we're good, we're good. He has like the best greets right in the game and he's not farming to get that great. So I'm fine with that. Um, I think this is all I'm gonna do for wired funds before round 13. Why am I sending him constant leads? Am I dumb? But now we get ready for round 12 camo leads, which is what he's doing as well. So we'll put this baby on strong. And we do have to be cautious of like a random all out though. I wouldn't be surprised if he was gonna pull something like that. Okay, this is actually a good rush. This is a really good rush on his part. Region freaking leads, cam grow leads are really scary. We're just gonna have to tank those leaks. Okay. Now, instead of sending him a rush here, he might send me a rush. I'll just get up a destroyer if he rushes. I'll put him on strong. Now he's gonna farm on, okay. And like I said, I do want a round 16 adjust. So I'm not gonna be too aggro here. We can fit one here, I think, on the right side. Oh, there it is. Oh, we don't even wanna do that. Um, I'm gonna fake a camo ceramic, I think. Or do we just save up for full send adjustment? I think we just full send adjustment, bro. That's definitely the move. Seven adjustments, round 16. Okay, we need money though for a destroyer as well. Let's see how he plays this out. I'm gonna go for the adjustment spam, but I'm also gonna get up a destroyer. Now, hopefully we can solo with this. I really don't wanna, okay. There's... Please defend. We're good, we're good. All right, let me get you down here. And he's farming well, but adjustment gets really tough on round 18. So we'll see how he handles that. I'm actually gonna get my boomer down here. Put him on strong. So we only have five, six adjustments, but what we can do is this right here. And he's gonna have to sell farms and turbo at the minimum. He's gonna do that, okay. I'm expecting a Moab, yeah. We just have to go like this, like this, like this. This is this is brutal. We, we're playing this so poorly. This is such a bad game on my part. Why did I, oh my God, I didn't mean to get up a Bionic. Oh my God. Well, I don't know what the fuck to do now. <laughs> We just threw this game out the window so hard. Okay, we just need a turbo here and we're good. Surely that's all we need, right? Turbo too late. Oh, we're good. All right, I have to all out here. No, I don't. No, I don't. All out me, I dare you. All right, sending it, baby. Is he defending? Is he defending? I don't think he is. GG's. GG's. You choked. 120 and 2, by the way. Fake ass, record ass, bitch boy. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. All right, boys. I hope you enjoyed destroying 122 noob. Loss isn't on his record for some reason, but GG's. Ninja Kiwi game's trash. But all right, bye bye. Subscribe. Peace of Roonies. Bye.